stop eating rotten imported fish. According to the FAO and the FDA, fish is one of the best animal source of protein. And today, 50% of the world's population entirely depends on fish for their source of protein. And according to science, fish also has some rare amino acids or amino acids and some trace elements, which is often recommended by nutritionists to meat and poultry products. But unfortunately for Africa, that is largely depending on importation for its citizens to have a taste of these proteins from countries like China, India, Vietnam, Bangladesh and Thailand. And the fish that we receive in Africa from these export countries is rotten fish. Don't get me wrong. According to research, using the normal chill method of preserving fish, you can preserve fresh fish for about 12 to 13 days and still have good quality from the fish. Or using more sophisticated storing techniques like the super chilling technique or the vacuum storage technique you'll be able to store fish successfully for 28 days. Let me rest assured that there will be damaging effects on the fish muscles. To understand this concept of rotten imported fish, let's take Cameroon for our case study. Now, the good chunk of the rotten imported fish that is consumed in Cameroon comes from China. And it takes about two to three months for a cargo ship leaving China to arrive Cameroon. Let's say it arrives in Cameroon after three months. Let's look at it this way. Before the container carrying the fish to arrive in Cameroon, the fish has to be caught, processed, transported, packaged. So let's assume that it takes about one month from the time the fish is caught in China to when the vessels carrying the fish arrives in Cameroon is four months. Because the custom system in Cameroon is complicated to a certain level, it's going to take these fish importing companies in Cameroon about two weeks to go through the custom checks in order for them to clear off their goods from the seaport. They will take two weeks to clear off their goods and they will take another two weeks to do the inventory of their goods because they import in large quantity, which makes a month coupled to other four months that makes five. This fish is still in the warehouse in Douala. For this fish to leave the warehouse to Bamenda, it has to take about two weeks. Transportation plus inventory is two weeks. The local vendor that sells fish will come after two weeks to come and buy. That is already a month. That makes six months, right? Now, these vendors take this fish back to its own local place and keeps for another two weeks. That makes six months, two weeks. Let's take a civil servant who buys only at the end of the month, comes and buys this fish, takes it home and puts it in his freezer for another two weeks. That makes seven months. It means that fish that is caught in China in January is eaten in Cameroon in July. But according to FDA, households are supposed to store fish for a maximum of two to three days after which the fish is bad. To understand this concept of rotten fish, I want us to look at it in two aspects. First, transportation, and we have clearly seen how transportation violates the normal standard on how fish is supposed to be stored, which is 28 days. And we've also seen how households ignorantly store fish for more than two to three days. Now, let's look at hygiene. Hygiene, how the fish is handled until it is consumed. With hygiene here, let's assume that the important countries, they follow the normal standard prescribed by Cotec. They follow all the regulations and the guidelines about handling and transporting fish. Let's also assume that the companies that are importing fish into Cameroon are also following the standard norms of importation of fish. The problem here will lie with the common vendor who sells this fish to the population. When he gets the fish from the warehouses, he has to use his own means of transportation, which obviously is the wrong means of transportation, like carrying the fish on a bike with dusty roads, bad roads. When this vendor finally arrives in his own shop, he puts this fish in his own deep freezer, ready for sale. Now we know the general problem in Cameroon is electricity. The on and off, on and off coming of electricity aggravates this situation by lowering the lifespan of these dead fish 
Remember that the preservation of fish is largely dependent on temperature. Reducing the temperature to temperatures of about negative 5 degrees Celsius helps to prevent the bacteria, not necessarily killing them, but preventing them from feeding on the body of the dead fish. This on and off supply of electricity helps to alter the temperature in which this fish is stored. And by altering the temperature, there is a chance that this bacteria and enzymes that will lie low may be activated and they will start feeding on the body of this dead fish. To know it, you will see the texture of the fish soft, you will see the gills of the fish dark, the eyes of the fish red or yellowish, and then at times you also see the fish peeling off. This is a sign to show you that this fish is decaying from within. Another issue is, when these vendors, they go and buy this fish, they come and they preserve the fish with dry eyes. The water from which this dry eyes is made from is most at times dirty water. Now, because the water is dirty, it contains bacteria and it contains dead and all of this is added to the fish or for some they might reuse old eyes and old eyes is contaminated with bacteria and dead this further aggravates or speed up the decay of this fish which we will buy and consume and blame it on electricity to understand this situation i want you to make yourself two dishes one made from imported rotten fish and the other from freshly caught fish from a neighboring pond. Enjoy these two plates and make a difference between the two. If you are like me and you are tired of eating imported rotten fish, please do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you want to keep watching videos on how to live healthily. But then all hope is not lost. If we can stop eating rotten fish, we will help the government to stop the importation of rotten fish. We will stop the main fish importers in Cameroon from importing rotten fish and switch to importing freshly caught fish from neighboring ponds. So what I'm asking you is join me so that we could create more ponds from where we could eat freshly caught fish and stay healthy. Did you know that the government of Cameroon alone between the year 2015 and 2017, spent a huge sum of 448 billion CFA francs on the importation of rotten fish. And in that same year, it spent a total of 9,634 billion CFA francs for imports only, including fish. This amount is twice the budget of this year. Please drop a comment in the comment section below if you have eaten rotten fish before and if you've eaten freshly caught fish. If you're new to this channel, please do hit the subscribe button. We make videos weekly on entrepreneurship, success in life, lifestyle and healthy living.